Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is about access modifiers and specifically what the private access modifier will um, do when applied to a constructor. I'm going to open up my browser to javacjava.com Click on Menu, select Java OOP Tutorials, which is the Java Object Oriented Programming Tutorials. I'm going to scroll down here to Private Constructor. When the private access modifier is applied to a constructor, the following access is granted. Full access is granted to invoke the constructor from within the same class. Things to think about. Multiple overloaded constructors can have different types of access modifiers applied to them. In other words, if you have one constructor with private access, other constructors can be public, default, or protected access. It is common to invoke a private access constructor from within the same class using a constructor with less restrictive access. Let's go ahead and scroll down here and highlight this code. Control C to copy or right click and select copy. I'm going to move the browser off screen here. I have a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop, but if you don't, you can create one by right-clicking and selecting New, Shortcut, type in CMD, Next, and Finish. Let's go and open up the DOS prompt here, Command Prompt, type in Java C, which is the Java compiler. Going all this, You should see all this stuff scroll by. If you don't, go ahead and watch my tutorial on installing the Java development kit. I want to make sure you get that installed and configured properly before continuing. Type in CLS to clear the screen, then type in CD space backslash. CD is short for change directory, and backslash tells it to go to the root. Type in MD Java, make directory Java. And I already have that folder, but if you don't, it'll go ahead and create it for you. I'm going to change directories to the Java folder. And this is what I call my working directory. So I'll build all my packages out of here, all my tutorials, subfolders, everything like that. I'm going to make directory called 1, and I'm change directory to the 1 folder. I'm going to uh, notepad, um, yeah, it really doesn't matter, I'll just do, um, yeah, construct, yeah, let me see, what do I want to name this thing, I'll just name it, I have two classes in here, it really doesn't matter what I name this thing, I'll do constructor1.java, neither one of them is public, control V to paste, alright, let's go ahead and save this out here. So this is package one, which corresponds to our one folder there, right? And then I've got this class tester here. Ignore everything in the that's commented out, right, for the, for the moment there, right? Class tester has a private constructor right here that basically we'll call the super on this statement, and then it will display to the line, invoke the private tester constructor. Right. Now, inside of the main method, the first thing I'm going to do is um, create a tester object type T, reference variable, equal to a new reference of an instance of tester, and then we will invoke the tester uh, constructor right here. Right. So we could go ahead and create an instance of tester using a private constructor from within the same class. All right. And then that's all that's going to do right at the moment. This is commented out, so I won't go over that yet. Let's just go ahead and save this and do that. Go down a directory, uh, Java C to compile one slash the folder and then the, the source code file name we want to compile. Java to invoke the uh, to run the JVM and then we want to invoke the one package dot tester class. Okay and we get invoke the private tester constructor. Okay so that's all fairly simple and everything like that. Let's try something now, right? So um, what in the comment here? I have in extends tester. What if we try to inherit our own class to invoke the tester? Could that possibly work? Hmm. Well, let's try it. Could just swallow up the whole universe, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. We'll <laughs> clear my screen. We'll recompile this, and we'll get an error right away. So error, cyclic inheritance involving tester, right? So that's basically what we get there, right? If we try to try inheritance, we will get a cyclic relationship error, okay? So we can create an instance of tester using a private um, um, 
constructor, but we can't inherit our own class there to do the inheritance portion of it there. Okay, so let's just go ahead and take that out of there. All right, now the next thing we wanna do is let's see if we can, well, we'll come down here to the constructor one. Constructor one is a package level class, right? And I have got a uh, two constructors in here, a default no argument constructor, right? With private access on it. First is a call to super, and then it will display to the console this string literal private constructor in constructor one. And I also have an overloaded constructor with pack default uh, package level access basically with a um, that takes a string does not matter parameter right and then it will make a call to this the call to this will actually you know because there's no arguments no parameters in here will go out and actually invoke this private constructor there so can we do that um, by um, inheriting trying to make constructor one the super class of tester let's try that No nope, error. Constructor, constructor one, and class constructor one cannot be applied to given types. So when we try to call the super up here, right, which would call the super class constructor one and call its default constructor one constructor here. Wow, it sounds like I'm doing like a tongue twister there. But anyway, that's private, so no can do. All right, let's go and comment that out. So we can't access that through inheritance as we expected. But can we access it via creating an instance, assigning it to a reference? Well, let's go ahead and save that, right? So constructor one, now constructor one is default, um, default access type, right? So we aren't gonna run into a problem here, right? Now when we use the new operator to create, a, to instantiate the constructor one object there, is that's when we're going to run into it, when it calls this, uh, when it, uh, calls the constructor one to go ahead and initialize there. So we should see the error pointing right in front of the new on this. So let's go ahead and save this out. Let's clear our screen to get some of this garbage off there. And okay, and here we go. Error constructor and constructor one in class constructor one cannot be applied to the given types. So that's exactly what we got right there. You know, when it tried to um, initialize it right here. It uh, saw that it was private and we can't do that. All right, so what can we do to get to that thing uh, in constructor one? Well, here I've got a constructor one um, constructor overloaded, right? That takes a string parameter, does not matter, because the only thing I'm doing is calling this. And when I call this with no arguments, that will actually invoke this constructor up there and display this to the console. So we can get at this because we're creating um, a new reference of constructor one object type, right? And that is default access. And then we're creating a, well, assigning it to a new, a new reference of an instance of constructor one object, right? And invoking the constructor one um, constructor with the string literal of whatever, right? That comes down here and says, oh, I have a signature that matches that. Let's go ahead and invoke this one. And bada boom, bada bing, right? So. Let's save this and clear our screen, recompile, and let's just run that one again. Okay, so invoke the private tester constructor and private constructor in constructor one, right? So this line up here um, invoked our private constructor in here, and this statement right here invoked this, which in turn Right, invoked this, which displayed this to the screen. Okay. All right, I'm gonna close out of that, close out of this, and I'm gonna leave you with a quick final thought. So there was no need to test the private modifier on a constructor outside of a package. The private modifier is really irrelevant when it comes to packages. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.